This video shows how to create an elastic mapping with a Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 connector in Informatica Cloud Data Integration. Before you begin, make sure that you install and configure a secure agent to run an elastic cluster, get the data integration elastic licenses, create an elastic configuration in the administrator service, create connections for a Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 source, and a Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL target. For more information, see the Data Integration Elastic Administration Guide. First, we'll show you how to create an elastic mapping that adapts to the number of jobs and the size of the data that the jobs process. Log in to Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services and open Data Integration. We'll create a new elastic mapping. In the Mapping Designer, we configure the elastic mapping and design our business logic. First, we'll configure the source transformation. Enter a name, and then select the Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 connection. Select the single object source type. Next, we select the ADLS Gen 2 object that contains the data we want to read. In this example, we want to use the Parquet file that contains customer details. We want to calculate the total account balance for all account holders in the country, so we'll add an aggregator transformation. Configure the fields and expressions. Add an expression to calculate the account balance. Now we'll configure the target transformation. Enter a name, and then select the Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL connection. We'll use the single object target type and select the target object where we want to write the data. In this example, we want to add customer data to the Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL target, so we'll choose an insert operation. Map the fields from the aggregator transformation that you want in the target object. And then save the mapping. Now we'll create a mapping task based on the elastic mapping we just created. Click New, Task, Mapping Task, and then click Create. Name the task. Find the directory where you want to save it, and then select a runtime environment. Select the elastic mapping that we configured and click Next. You can schedule the task to run at a specific time or at an interval. Click Finish. Now let's run the task. Great! On the My Jobs page, you can see the status of the task in the list of jobs. Click the task name to view the job details. If you have any errors, you can download the session log to view the details. And that's it! In this video, we showed you how to create an elastic mapping to read a Parquet file from a Microsoft ADLS Gen 2 source and write to a Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL target. Add an aggregator transformation to the mapping and then create a mapping task. For more information, see the Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 Connector Guide on the Informatica documentation portal. Visit our communities and support hubs, or check out our website.